Welcome back to Dad and Tobago. Joining us on set, Raquel Moses, the president of Invest TT, and we're talking about the ICO call center and job recruitment phase. A lot of things that are happening. Ms. Moses, good morning. How are you? Morning. Now, the mandate of Invest TT is really about promoting the investment climate in Trinidad and Tobago linked to our economic development. The ICO call center, how is this tied into that? We, uh, about uh, nearly a year ago, we were uh, approached by i and and uh, to set up this call center in Trinidad and Tobago. And typically, Trinidad and Tobago doesn't compete on the low end of call centers. We tend to, our minimum wage doesn't permit us to compete with some of the other markets. So we look at typically higher end call centers that are dealing with more complex activities. And so this i call center will be doing uh, call center services for a major telecommunications operator in the U.S. And people will be providing information on billing and helping customers through uh, billing queries over the phone. Now, you know, when people think call center, they think working 24-7, just simply answering the phones, dealing with rough customers. How, do you go, how are you going to shift the... the the, I guess, the stereotype of that. The perception. So if you come to the job fair, you'll see that the, the entire atmosphere is entirely different. We've got beanbag chairs. It's, it's very much sort of a Silicon Valley vibe that we're going for with the school center because, again, it is higher-end skills. We're also trying to attract, uh, as Invest TT and in partnership with uh, TTIFC, uh, business process outsourcing, so doing back-end financial services and accounting and legal practices. So we really are looking to attract high-end call center work that's different from typical call center work. What is attractive about our market? If you talk about our labor wage being uh, extreme, a lot higher than, I guess, other competing markets mm -hmm. within a similar region. In addition to that, uh, our, our talent pool, are we really the type of talent that they want? And the regulatory framework as well as the legislative framework is pretty tight in Trinidad and Tobago in addition to the union environment. <laughs> when you compare it to some other markets, what we do is we play it to our strengths. So when you look at youth unemployment, it's at 10%. 10 which is much higher than our, our general unemployment rate. And our underemployment is also uh, even higher. And what we want to do is to attract those uh, young people who need the experience and want to start getting into um, a work environment. And this would be a great stepping stone for them. Typically, call center isn't a, a lifelong employment opportunity, but it's something where you go and you get some experience before you go into your next vocation. And this is all tied into job recruitment phase as well? Yes. So we're recruiting 300 young people. We hired uh, 12 people on Tuesday and we are looking, so they're being hired on the spot. You bring your, your passes and your birth certificate. Uh, OJT is on on site to help register young people as well. And we work with them to, uh, to do your interviews right on the spot and then you're, you're employed. What are you being employed in what position? There are an, any number of positions. They've, they've hired for a number of VP roles already. There are some quality assurance roles, uh, certainly the call center staff they're hiring for. But if you log on to www.investttiCore.com, you will find all of the positions that are available. In terms of the response to the, to the recruitment phase as well as the call center itself, what has the response been like and what is the most frequently asked question? The response has been quite incredible. Um, uh, we've had in, in about a, a week and a half, we had 600 applications online on the i -Corps Invest DT site. Uh, and we were, at, you know, we've been promoting it through social media. The most common question is, is how will I get there? Because it's, it's located in uh, Wallfield at the Tamina Intech Park. So, um, and we're working with PTSC on a transportation solution to get people there quite quickly and easily. And in terms of the one question people always have, a permanent contract, you know, security of tenure, they're always amazed. Is it, is it going to be a five month, a six month? When you say OJT, they think, okay, it's a three month something. No, it's typically going to be a, a, a two to three year uh, engagement. I think they want to, to recruit and keep talent so that they get the best benefit out of the, the money that they're spending. It's an extensive training program. So the uh, people involved will get a lot of skills when they come into the program. So I think it'll be a great opportunity for us to develop our customer service skills as a country, having that many people in that kind of um, in that kind of skill. Your closing comments, Ms. Moses Trinidad and Tobago, this is really about boosting not only the employment levels, but looking as well as economic activity. Closing comments. We really want to encourage people to, to sign up for the job fair and to come and to turn out uh, to be able to to find a job and to get a career opportunity. ICOR is a, a huge organization, 32,000 employees uh, worldwide in 17 countries. 
anything could happen from this jumping off point. And so we really want people to turn up and to see Trinidad shine all over the globe. And the possibility of moving to another territory. It's actually quite possible and they actually, they were concerned about talking to us about that because they didn't want to necessarily take on a brain drain. Right. But they, they did realize in the talent that they uh, interviewed and the talent that they've hired so far that we are quite skilled and qualified. And so if that means that we start uh, managing other call centers from Trinidad and Tobago or expanding our reach from this location, then that's possible and I think it's something that we would want to encourage. Definitely something to encourage. Now we take uh, not a really short break, but what we're going to do is shift our focus a little bit and enter into our other interview, uh, which is going to be spreading th love through music. And I think that we have a video performance to show you as we change guests and enter into our last segment of today's show. Stay with us.